Hey guys, what's up? Reports of my death have been uh, greatly exaggerated. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, it looks like we gotta we gotta bring it back to the uh, gotta bring it back to what the hell y'all y'all are used to. So yeah, so I haven't made a YouTube video in quite a while, guys. Had a pretty crazy job. Uh, took up most of my time. Uh, now I got a little bit more free time, so I'm back to making YouTube videos. Um, I will be saying this. The YouTube channel is going to be pivoting a little bit in a different direction. I mean, obviously, there's only so much World of Warcraft content to make for TBC about Enhancement Shamans. So, you know, if y'all like hanging out talking to me, you can definitely check me out on my Twitch. Check me out on my Instagram. I post stuff there, like, a couple times a week. I stream five times a week on Twitch. But I want to thank everybody for hanging out, staying with the channel, even though it's been like a six-month hiatus. But the one thing that I wanted to go through with everybody that I have noticed literally nobody knows about, apparently, is the Enhancement Shaman Simulator. And this thing is the most useful tool. It is the greatest piece of technology any of us have come up with. And by any of us, I mean the great big brains behind who made this thing. Um, I've been utilizing it. I've been talking to people about it on my streams. I've been telling everybody to use it, but people still come to me on my WoW streams and they're like, Holder, should I use, uh, should I use Decapitator and Netherbane? Should I use Siphon and, you know, uh, uh, Rising Tide? Like, should I use X, Y, or Z? And I'm just like, bro, Simit, we got the Enhancement Shaman Simulator. We've had that thing, you know, pinned in the Discord for months and people are always like, wow what are you talking about <laughs> so yeah here it is guys this is the enhancement shaman simulator for the longest time we worked off a spreadsheet now we actually have this fantastical piece of technology and i'm going to tell you guys how to use it right now i'm going to give you a link in the description so any and all future gearing decisions can be delivered to you via the magic of math so right now we're looking at my current gear please ignore the poverty gems um, our gem cutter was not online when I got this gear last night, so whatever, please ignore that. But anyway, this is your current Enhancement Shaman Simulator. There's also different classes built into here too. We got a Shadow Priest, Ellie Shaman, Mage, Hunter, Balance Druid, so if you want to use that too, this, this thing is again a fantastical piece of technology. You queue in your gear, so this is my current gear right now. One of the biggest questions I'll get right now is like, what shoulders should I use? Should I use Swift Strike shoulders? Should I use, you know, the shoulder pads of the stranger? Is Mantle of Darkness actually better than my, uh, you know, uh, shoulder pads of the stranger? Well, the Sim says this is like four EP higher. This is a little bit better. But for me, with my current gear, I don't have enough hit for shoulder pads of the stranger to work out. Also, I'm an orc using axes these are things you can pin into the settings you can put in your race you can put the type of uh mob you're fighting you can put your current raid buffs you can put the raid debuffs everything that you're going to be using all the buffs that you're going to be using you can put in your specific raid comp and this is the stuff that really matters because your raid comp your group how your raid performs and functions is going to change the type of gearing that you're going to want. No one, okay, maybe no one is a lie, but like most people aren't existing in this perpetual optim, like optimum group, optimum raid, stacked bloodlusts where like the best gear, the best gear is going to be best for you all the time. That's my situation that I'm currently in. That's why I'm using Mantle of Darkness. As you can see, you can run your gear right now. Hey, I don't have all my, uh, you know, talent and stuff set up exactly the way it is in the raid, but this is this is good for an example. So, you know, we're looking at like 1959.20. You can put this in as a reference DPS. Now, let's say I wanted to swap my mantle of darkness back to shoulder pads of the stranger. Let's put a bold living ruby in there because that's what's in mine. So 1959, this isn't going to be a big DPS difference, but you're going to see probably that the uh, shoulders I were just wearing we're a DPS increase, see? There you go. So we're at, you know, 1956, a 2.32 DPS loss versus the shoulders I was just wearing. And then now if we use this, we still have our old reference. Well, I can make the Swift Strike shoulders. Should I make those? Let's use that as a reference. Even more of a DPS loss. Now these Swift Strike shoulders, you know, may come into play later. If I swapped to double Nether Banes, 
But as you can see, this is a pretty foolproof method and a pretty great way to actively, accurately decide for yourself what gear you need to be wearing given your current gearing options. And I just didn't feel like enough people knew that this thing exists. Like it is such a wonderful tool. So anyway, here's the video. I feel like this thing is pretty self-explanatory. Once again, you can put in your talents, you can put in your specific raid composition. This will give you detailed results. This will tell you exactly um, what your DPS was like on a histogram. It is fantastic, Mwah, chef's kiss. Anyway guys, first video I've made in like six months. Um, first video I've made about World of Warcraft in quite a while. Um, so if you want to know, Holder, what is the best in slot for me? Holder, what should I wear in this crazy game, World of Warcraft Classic, The Burning Crusade? I present to you the TBC Enhancement Shaman Simulator that also includes Valance Druid, Hunter, Mage, Elemental Shaman, and Shadow Priest. I hope this is super duper useful to you as it has been to me and I want to once again thank the people who created this and I am just now doing my part to make sure that more people know this thing exists. May your parses increase exponentially. Expect more from the Holder Heck channel in the future. Again, guys, follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me literally everywhere. Why aren't you doing that already? Really? Until next time, bye-bye.